Welcome back to our friend productions. My name is Chris and I I am playing Read Only Memories. Cyberpunk Advent Cyberpunk point and click adventure where I get to point and click at cyberpunky stuff. Now we're back at the uh, Market Street? Yeah, Market Street. Yeah. We are back at Market Street. Let me just exit out of here. We're back at Market Street, and if you remember this place, well, it's where we met our, our the lovely lady Ramona, part robot, part otaku, part magical girl, and all because of this guy who came back to the, he came back to the Genesis Clinic, and yeah. Anyways, so first we're gonna see what he says. And then we're going to see if there's anything else. Well, first I'm going to see if there's anything else here. And if not, I will see you guys later. Welcome back. I Care know. to take another pamphlet or two? I... Uh, sure. I hope your article is going well. Uh, yes. My, my article is being written as we speak. It does not mention your pompadour at all. Um, I have questions. I don't have questions, but I do have one. Why are you, why are you out here all alone? Ah, the cold weather has made organizing demonstrations a bit difficult, to say the least. Really? I, I, I would not have guessed that, considering I may have just made it snow, like, three episodes ago. Four. Four episodes ago. But I refuse to relent in our mission. Rain or shine, sleet or snow. I will not rest until I stop these abominations from undoing God's almighty work. Ah, uh, yeah. About that. Let's see. First off. God's almighty work is subjective at best. At worst, is downright. What's the word? Crusadery? That's not the word. It is not a word, but it's a word. Uh, let's see. Won't shutting down the clinics uh, like this cost lives? He doesn't care. Because the only lives that it will affect are the abominations. Why is someone with gen genetic modifications less human? Uh, he's going to do some psychobabble. Uh, we might get to that one. Uh, how far would you like humanity to go? Aha. Uh -huh. uh, what has your group accomplished since it was founded? I want to know this one. That is the greatest misconception of our group. No, it is not. They would have you believe that we'd rather go back to the Dark Ages. I know, back before the... Back before the inventions of cell phones and back when VHSs ruled the land. Oh, sure. The human revolution wants people to go back to washing clothes by hand down by the river, right? We'll all go back to playing with sticks, yes? Amen. I've played with sticks. It is very entertaining when you're like surviving off like two and a half hours of sleep. We do not advocate for a reversal of all technology. That would be ludicrous. Uh huh. But. And here's, of course, the big but. We merely want severe limitations on genetic enhancements and a focus on medicinal practice beyond gene therapy. Mm hmm. Now, how much of gene therapy is considered is too far? Would be would me regoing an arm be too much? I need that arm. And what if it's just easier to get a to get like a cat arm? That would include an outlawing of cosmetic gene therapy. Yes, people parading around in fur and scales as proud abominations. Okay. Uh, abominations are not the word I'd use. Your hair is an abomination. That's That should never see the light of day. I would call the furries and the scalies. Well, I would call one Ginny, one James, one Carlos, and one Alpha Centauri. We need the government to protect these patients from themselves. Uh... Fine, I'll do it. I'll ask it. I don't want to. I'll ask. I feel it's rather simple. It's even in the name. Okay, 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 okay. I will see where you're going to go with this. Modifying genes means we are changing the very DNA that makes us unique. 
Yeah, but cancer does that already. That's why cancer is bad. It modifies DNA only chaotically. We're giving doctors, among other people with a severe lack of understanding of the human condition, the right to make us into entirely new species. Yeah, but humans aren't that great. We are the byproduct of tens of thousands of years of natural selection and evolution. And now these people want that progress to just be reduced to a formula? To be injected into your skin at your convenience? Yeah. I mean... What about that, ma what about that guy who's double-jointed in his arm? He's a mutant. Is he an abomination? And why? To fulfill some sick fantasy. We have VR dramas. Leave your imagination at home. Yeah, that's not why they get it, but okay, sure. Besides, why should we give these self-proclaimed animals the same rights as humans when they clearly don't want to be human? Uh, okay, so I personally am going to go through the other ones. I don't care to put them in. This. Uh, if something's interesting, I'll put them in. If not, then yeah, we'll go, whatever. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll probably come back when we are in Hassie to meet the lovely, lovely Ramona. Because I need to cleanse my palate, palate, palate from Madame de Pompadour. We are not God. We were made in his image. And his image did not include fur. Okay, I had to come back for this one. Nobody knows what God looks like. Nobody knows if there is a God. You may debate me all you want, but for the most part, God may be a giant ball of glowing light. He may be Santa. He might just be a cloud with a beard. You, nobody really knows. So, it's very difficult to say you were made in his image when you don't know what he looks like. Why, just the other day, a Neo-SF landlord thanked me for supporting his decision to deny tenancy to unhumans. He already feels better about his decision to seek out our help. Yeah, but that's called confirmation bias. You seek out what those you agree with so they can back you up because you don't really know if you believe in what you believe. So, it's kind of a thing. It's like, I believe peanut butter is the worst thing possible. I have this article written by this guy in Germany saying peanut butter will will kill you and everybody you know. You know, confirmation bias is, is a little funky that way. Plus, I promise I'll write a fair assessment of the situation. I'm not gonna lie, you haven't really convinced me. Personal preference is if I am gonna write something like this, I will make a fair assessment. My fair assessment is that your hair is fake, and for the most part, what you're doing is counterproductive in ways, because you hate unhumans, hybrids, and yet you want to make the distinction that you want to make the distinction that only in life-saving situations. But by creating a situation, by creating such a situation, life change, life endangering situations are going to require such a red tape that you will not be able to save that life be by the time that that person needs to have that situation done. Jessie would be dead. I, uh, yeah, she'd be dead. She had to turn into, she had to turn into a giant bug, whatever. I don't need to make an enemy with him because I don't care about him. Why, thank you. I appreciate bold integrity from good journalists like yourself. Yeah, but the problem is I'm not gonna write anything. Oh, please do. Have a lovely day now. And remember, God designed you perfectly just the way you are. I know you're bald under there, so you cannot be sprouting that bullshit towards me. And I know you're bald, because nobody's hair is like that. Hey, Ramona. Oh, we're probably gonna be talking to Keith. I can tell because he actually has a profile. But hey, hey, Ramona. She does have a cool fashion sense. Hey, hey. What can I do for you? Uh, you do. I can hope and we can have a time to talk. Sure. I still have a little bit before closing, and 
I can use some conversation to distract me from the anticipation of the VR drama I have waiting for me when I get off. Oh, I thank you, Ramona. You are, you are a peach, and I do love you. Um. What do you want to know? I, 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 um, uh, stuff. Um. Oh right, I'm here for Charlie Nova stuff. Damn it. Uh, you know, fuck it. I don't care about that. What's the VR drama about? Oh, it's an ongoing drama called Magical Commander Yakino. Yakino at the Gates to the Deep. That is a long name, but not the longest. Not the longest I've known, but it's close. Uh, uh, Tangon Top and Gurren Logan. Something. I don't forget the rest of the name, but they, there's that one's pretty long. I think it's off by like two words. Two, two words. So. In it, you play the magical girl Yakino as she fights off elder gods as they arise from the ocean. Oh, you mean uh, Cthulhu? It's a bit cliché and just about as silly as you would expect, but it includes some really interesting intersection between the Japanese magical girl trope and the American Cthulhu mythos. I was right, yes. Cthulhu, if you don't know, is a giant tentacle monster that is, is difficult to make into a game. So, because it's one of those things where the elder beings are so beyond comprehension that you don't get a chance to fight them. Your only way to fight them is to run away. You look into the darkness that is the chaos that is Cthulhu, and they'll be like, I'm trying not to go insane, man. And then that's it. You can try and shoot him. He'd be like, um, okay. You could, I think in one book they rammed him with a ship to try something, and Cthulhu just like didn't even take notice, and he just kind of went back to sleep. All with a pseudo-military theme. Yeah, okay. In the newest episode, Yakino has to face off against the Yit as they try to inhabit the bodies of people in the present to escape their destruction in the past. Is Yit a thing? I don't know. I forget if Yit is a is a term within within the books, or if it's something within the, in this game. How does a VR drama work? It's like a video game. If I would had to guess. I assume it would be a situation where it is a it is a fully 360 degrees, fully rendered, fully fleshed out world that you're kind of in, and you're free to kind of walk around and like say you want to go around this building, you, know, you might not be able to go, down, go around that building, but you will probably be able to follow the main character. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't really care to know because I'm going <laughs> to, the more I know, the more I'm going to want it, and I can't, it's, I can't wait to do uh, 2064 to wait for it. It's the best! Super awesome! If you need any other suggestions, just let me know! Oh, I would... I'm totally gonna come back for it. I played through a little bit of everything. I'm sure I could find something you'd like. Uh, I like you? Does that count? Maybe a detective drama. Yes. Anyway... Let's see. I want to... I personally want to know this about the VR technology, but it might run the, not run the episode a little long, so we'll see. You don't have internal hookups, do you? The older sets are all helmets that use electromagnetic waves to stimulate the neural pathways in your brain to induce the desired sensory input. Oh, so sort out online, or yeah, no, I mean that's that's a perfect in, in, initiation of it's sort out online. It's pretty crude, though, which is why EM hats give you that dreamlike experience. It doesn't quite feel real. The direct link network has way higher fidelity. It's like actually being there. And since the direct link can interrupt your primary motor cortex, you don't have to take muscle relaxers to keep from flailing around. Uh, uh, sure. You don't have to do that, but yeah, you know what? Just, just go, go read Sword Art Online. I'm not saying go watch Sword Art Online. There were some issues with that, but I, look, I'm a believer of. I read way too fast, so I saw the first episode of Sword Art Online. It's like I like the animation. This seems interesting. I got and read the first three, four books by the time the uh, light novels before it even came out. And I'm a light novel fan. I'm a manga fan. Read Sword Art Online. I think you might enjoy it if this is part is interesting to you. But some people are still scared off by it. Well, it's pretty invasive. They inject this smart polymer into the base of your skull, right
right at the brainstem, and it crawls along your primary neural pathways and bonds to your major sensory centers. Cool. It's been safe for almost a decade, but a lot of folks are still pretty skeeved out by the idea of having a bunch of conductive plastic coating in the inside of their brains. Look, if you've seen the inside of my brain, that'll probably be the most tamest thing. Plus, for the 24 hours or so that is hooking everything up and self-calibrating, you start to have intense hallucinations because of all the electrical cross-firing. It wouldn't be the first time. It's a trip, I'll tell you that. But no worse than the stuff people have been taking for a millennia, watching the world melt. Anyway, if you're looking to get installed, I have a guy who does great work. Only if you're there with me, Ramona. Just let me know. Um. Yes, okay, so I, I, fine, it's about time to talk about Charlie Nova. I like Ramona more, I'm sorry, it's just how it is. Charlie is a complete trip. Yeah, I know, <laughs> he right? when he was just starting out doing adverts. He still drops in every once in a while to hang out. I love the guy. He's super funny, always has the best stories, and his hair is perfect. Since you have backed up his hair, I will give his hair the benefit of the doubt, Ramona. And he parties harder than anyone I know. Not bad. A couple weeks ago, he invited me to this raid at some hole that's probably already shut down, and he got so amped up on Crash that he jumped up on the table and hosted an impromptu dirty dancing contest. Not bad. I swear, if he was in Charlie Nova, we would have gotten chucked out on our asses. But it was a lot of fun. <laughs> if you want to meet him, just hang around here long enough. He loves mingling with his fans. Not that it helps his ego any. No, no. This is pretty innocuous. We are going to need more evidence if we're to fabricate a believable story that will convince Mr. Nova it's in his best interest to help us. I know that, Turing, but I want to talk to Dan I want to talk to Ramona, okay? Let me let me talk to Ramona. Also, look, it's a Doug game. Sure. Just let me know if you need anything. I'm always happy to help. Thank you, Ramona. You are you are a bright spot in my day of having worked 12 plus hours. You have a picture of when Charlie Nova flipped off a box of kittens. Wait, like, he gave the finger to the box of kittens? Okay, somebody brought them to try to give away, and one of them scratched him up. He ended up taking it home, but he really hammed it up about getting scratched. I think he, up, I think he ended up calling it, uh, I think it was Captain Snuggles? It was pretty funny, actually. I I'll send you your ROM, a picture. Now let's talk to the only other person here with a, with a um with a portrait, possibly main character, possibly yeah. It's your friend Keith. Wait, I know this guy. Oh, hey, it's you. Wow, I long time. I know it's it's me, and it's and it's you. Who the fuck are you? I don't know. I mean, he's Keith. Can't you tell? Hey, not too old now. <laughs> hey, you're definitely old, man. Did you manage to keep that plan I got you alive? Um, yes. That plant is so alive, I, I had to transplant it in, in the park. Uh, <laughs> I can't lie to Keith, man. Uh -huh. Oh man! What? I, what? Rest in peace, Wilty. Did... You probably overwatered it, didn't you? Damn it, Keith! You know me so well. That's exactly right. Shut up, Turing. Figures. So, uh, what's with the bot? Oh, uh, he's my friend. He's my rom. Yours? Really? Huh? I didn't think you liked to bring work home, as it were. Um. Yes. Anyway, it's great to see you. What brings you to the Hassie Bar? I... Doing a review of that sweet weather rum outside or something? I... Uh, I would much rather be reviewing with Ramona, but yes. The weather bot it is. 
All right, now that's the kind of journalism I'm talking about. I know. I'd much rather be uh, trying to find a killer of uh, of Hayden than the weather bot. Than the weather bot. Indeed, we're looking into some accusations made against Charlie Nova. And we're actually trying to build up a solid case against him. No shit! I actually may have exactly what you need. How serendipitous! Tell me, Keith, who's friend of mine. Charlie comes here all the time. You, you know that show he's host of, Star in the Stratosphere? Yes. That show where normal people try to become actors and singers and all. Yes. Listen to this recording I made when he was here last month on his book tour. How, again, what, like, Keith, are you, like, following him? So many people come up to me thinking that if they can sing or act, I'll just make them a superstar. Okay. But that isn't how it works. Raw talent isn't enough to get you by in this industry. And anyone who thinks so is lying to themselves. Okay, yeah, it takes luck and dedication, yes. It takes hard work and persistence. You gotta want it, and want it bad. Okay, I'm with you there. But the kids I get on Star in the Stratosphere, which I host each and every week, as you all know, they're all so young and hungry. Uh-huh. Small hungry child, yes. I love them. I do my damnedest to make sure they get what they want. I'm hearing music in the background. Give me a second. Oh, it's not music. It's, it's, uh, there's murmuring. They give me their best, so I'm gonna give them mine. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, to be fair, I'm with Charlie Nova. Talent is amazing. It, I love, I love talent. You know, artists, musicians, creators, anything. Like, I love talent. Yeah, but you gotta work. You gotta bust your ass. It's not much, but it might help you build a case if you chop it up right. Just keep my name off it. I post hiking pictures, not scandals. Yeah, what do you, I could use it? Wait, what? Okay, hold on. Why are we building a case against Charlie right now? Well, if nothing else, the threat of this dropping on the mess should get them talking. Here, I, I just made a copy for you. Anyway, I'd love to catch up soon. For now, I'll let you keep at it. You can usually find me here if you want to chat again. Look, if I'm going to come here, I'm going to come here for Ramona, not you. But, I mean, since you're here, I'll talk to you then. Thanks, Keith, man. Super helpful. Tell me... Say... Why did you tell Keith that I belong to you? Well, I do like you, and I don't have a rum of my own yet. It's more convenient that way during the investigations. True. Look, we got what we're at. Well... You do owe me a computer. You are alone. And like, I gotta be honest, Turing, as, as much as you and I kind of butt heads and you being a giant marble forehead, I do like you, for the most part. So, yeah. I'll thank you to remember that I am not the same as any ordinary ROM that exists to be subservient. Ye okay, okay. Um, not the point. But yeah. I don't like being forced to assert my independence as a unique individual, but I really thought you were above this. Anyway. Okay. Okay, fine. This is true. It is, it is true, it is true. For the most part, one, I didn't think I was going to get out of that anyways. It, it might have been a scripted event. But during... While ninety percent Rom is also more human than anything, more human esque. He is not just a Rom. He is more. He is more than a Rom. He's the Alpha Rom. I don't. I don't know how you say it. Frankly, I'm starting to feel a bit uneasy about this. Yep. Why are we building a case against Charlie again? Mr. Nova's clearly an upstanding individual, if just a bit boisterous. Yeah. But I suppose if we're in for a penny, we're in for a pound. I 
still don't see why I'm building a this cave. This should be more than enough anecdotal evidence to fabricate a less than flattering image of Mr. Nova that the public will eat right up. I, again, I why am I why am I building a case against Nova? I don't. Let us present our story to him immediately. Hopefully our delay has not put him in physical danger. Oh, right, right. I need to talk to me because he might die. I don't know why I forgot about that. I think that's about it. That's about it. I'm going to just... Hey, Ramona. I'm just going to... Just going to give you a brochure. I'm not going to... I'm not going to do it. I want to talk to you again. What can I do for you? Ramona, I was hoping that you and I in this snow-covered weather. Sure. I still have a little bit before closing. What do you want to know? Well, are you, uh, are you seeing? No, I'm joking. I'm jo jokes aside. Um, this is a nice, po nice point to end on. Uh, it has been, it has been a blast. Uh, I am, I am bummed, um, I am bummed I didn't get a, get a chance to talk to Ramona some more. As I sit here talking to Ramona. No, uh, so we're on our quest to get at it, get, we're going to make a case. We are sorry. We're going to fabricate a case against Charlie Nova. Get him to talk against his will to, to the degree of, hey, if you tell me what I want to know, I might be able to save your life. Is it the best way to go about it? No. Is it the only way to go about it? Yes. Does that make it worth it? To save his life, yes. Am I gonna release stuff? No, I don't care. Look, even even if he was, for the most part, what we know about Charlie Nova is that he is, as stated by Turing, he's an upstanding dude, kind of a dude, kind of a loud uh, a loud mouth, boisterous is the word they used. But like, there's nothing wrong with him. Like even this guy was like, oh man, he he flipped over a, a box of kittens, and he got scratched, and he took one home. He named him Mrs. Snuggles. Captain Snuggles. I, I actually have a feeling I might be able to talk to him in a, in a, in a friendly term. It's like, dude, man, look. If anything bad happens to you, Captain Snuggles, man, think of Captain Snuggles. He'd be like, oh, Captain Snuggles. And then he'd tear would roll down his eye. And then he'd tell me what I need to know. That's an ideal case. Will it happen? Probably not. So thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, leave whatever the hell you want down below. And of course, anything helps. It gets us known. And I, as much as I enjoy, you know, being the underdog, we're all in this. We're all in this to get better. I shall see you guys later. I hope you enjoy yourselves. I will enjoy myself, and I will see you again tomorrow at 11 a.m. Peace.